So I'm Adam Beanstock and uh, I'd just like to uh, look at uh, the hare's paw. It's a, it's a reel. It's often played with the uh, Liffey Banks. It's got the Liffey Banks that goes first. And, uh, that's part A. And then, but then on to the um, hair's paw. See, it's um, it's tricky because you you you've got very close finger work here in first position, first position here, which I find difficult because uh, my fingers are swollen, um, and uh, it's 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 close and then with the crossing of strings. So we do separate bows. So it's a case of undoing what, what I've learnt on that and uh, really focusing on the notes. Um, it's, 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 it's a job taking it apart with Irish music because it, it's got such a flow to it and, uh, and a style, um, a strand, uh, which uh, you've got to think, well, you've got, you've got to even almost play it out of time, <laughs> you know, to to actually get each of the notes fidgety because if you played it um, too many notes in things And then what it goes, what, it, what does it go after that? If anyone knows this. Oh dear. It's, it's the memory thing, isn't it? Again.
Um, well, I think you've got to play around with it to try and actually get it, but try and find a way with it. Whether you're doing separate or slurred, what to slow, what ornaments to put in, what rolls, what cuts, whatever. See, there's, there's, a, there's a crossing a string issue there. Forgetting what it is there, um, yeah. You just gotta, you just gotta have patience. There's, um, relax on it. And uh, my advice, uh, just don't get stressed about it if it goes wrong, uh, or unless you think it may should go or whatever. And this is because, uh, um, as, as as I say a lot about Irish music, you can't put it in a straight jacket. It uh, has to flow its its own accord, and that is what's so lovely about it. And uh, that uh, you find a way of playing it. And I uh, know uh, oh this is this is this is it. This is how I approach it. Slow it down. Play separate bows, and then 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 you're forgetting actually where it goes. So you have to speed it up again to try and find where the where the whole structure of the whole thing. You're, 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 you're skidding around <laughs> with the bow very lightly. You might be able to keep with somebody, some flautist in, in, a, in a session, but uh, that's the whole idea of it. thing is not to not to try and impress and uh, really go with the flow um, play it, play it slowly as much as possible because you won't get the opportunity to play it slowly once you're playing with a session So what you find, what I'm finding, you're getting whistling and scratching or whatever because your fingers are getting in the way of each other <laughs> and, uh, and the coordination with the bow um, and all these things you think of with the, with the classical genre to get it, get it clean and, uh, and tidy is, is impressive to get because uh, I think with, with, any, with any violin or fiddle playing it's to get a nice clean tone, nice clean overall sound, and uh, that's what that's what we aim for. Um, and uh, the discrepancies are uh, got to go with with practice. So um, I haven't got there yet, as you can hear. So that's just giving you a little bit of a thing on um, the the hair's paw, as we're 
worried about the wildlife with the fires and everything at the moment the very hot weather uh, might be apt to think about you know the um saving these animals okay <laughs>